Gas prices aren't the only thing on the rise. So are the COVID-19 numbers. The positivity rate in Fayette County as it relates to hospital beds is something health officials are keeping a close eye on now. LAX 18's Michael Burke joins us now live from Legends Field where drive up testing for the virus is still available. Well, Dia, Chris, COVID-19 vaccine and testing facilities are becoming more frequently visited now as the county's positivity rate has moved back into the red territory, unfortunately. This morning at Kroger Field's Green Lot, a uh, COVID-19 testing facility is set up and it will remain in place through tomorrow around the dinner hour. It is being held in conjunction with the KHSAA baseball and softball tournaments. And that's because of those events with track and field thrown in last week. The clinic did very well last weekend, so they've decided to run it back once more this weekend for anyone who is eligible for either a vaccine or a booster. Remember, Fayette County is in the red again, but because of home testing, the positivity rate could be an even bigger problem. There is concern that there are exactly that. There are a lot of home tests that aren't reported. Therefore, yeah. we don't know exactly how red we are. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that just pushes the need for vaccination even more. It is free still, uh, so no insurance information required. And we're back live at Legends Field where the testing will continue here. It had moved to this location uh, just last week, earlier this month. Uh, cost for a rapid test if your insurance won't cover it, which it's not, is $68. If you're required to take a PCR test, that will run you $160. Live in Lexington, I'm Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.